All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another round of coffee and questions. Um, what's today's topic? Charlie, go ahead and read the question and I'll be right back. Hey, handyman. I have some one inch wide, hot rolled flat steel and I want to bend it like in an arc. Is there an easy way to do it without having to go out and buy expensive jigs? Yeah, there is. Um, I'm going to show you and then I'll explain to you what I've done and the way that we've done them in the past. And you can create either an arc or a full circle. But let me change a picture. I pulled this off of the web because it's what I used when I designed and I did mine. So give me just a sec here. I'll change a picture. We'll get into the discussion. Okay, so let's take a look at this picture. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do when you go out to that scrap supply place or your steel supplier, look around for scrap. So take a look at the picture. It'll give you some ideas on, you know, some flat metal you're going to need. Now, in this picture, he screwed it down. You can see where the screw holes are to a large piece of wood. Now, you can do that. That's what we did is I took a three-quarter inch scrap piece of plywood and we ground and we drilled and then we countersunk like you see here these screws are countersunk and we went ahead and screwed it into the wood okay now we welded these tabs on here but what we did is we took a compass and on that piece of flat steel before we welded the little vertical pieces we drew a full circle the size of what uh, this friend of mine wanted I forgot whether it was eight inch or whatever somewhere right around in there we drew an eight inch circle using, um, like I said, a compass. Then we welded these little tabs, these little vertical pieces of steel, and we went in a full circle. Then where you see the rebar here comes up to that first piece where he has it in the picture. We did it in a similar way. And then we made that other piece of steel on the outside. It wasn't tight fitting. It was we had a little bit of play, but not very much, say like an eighth of an inch where that rebar was set in there. Then we heated the rebar. And in this case, um, instead of rebar, I think we were heating half inch, you know, round steel. So we heated it and slowly started to bend it around those tabs. And we came all the way around into a circle and overlapped the beginning just a little ways. When we were done, we cooled it off we removed it we used a four and a half inch angle grinder with a cutoff wheel we cut it and then we heated it and we bent the two ends so they matched close together and we mig welded on it and then he just took his four and a half inch angle grinder with a flap wheel and he cleaned it up to make the weld look like it wasn't there now did it give us an absolute perfect circle no but it was very very close it was close enough to complete the project you know that he wanted to complete the question that was asked was, is there a way to bend, you know, steel like this rebar or flat steel in an arc? You can by looking at this picture and that will create that half circle. At least it just depends on what you're trying to do, but you don't need to go out and buy expensive, uh, you know, metal bending jig unless you want to, or you need it. But for an occasional project, this is one of many jigs that I have. And as I make these, you only have to make them once. I've got like a box that sits over in the corner of the garage. I put all my jigs in there. So I know where they're at when I need them. But there are lots of ways to bend steel without necessarily having to go out and buy an expensive piece of equipment. Go to my playlist. Take a look back. I show you how to make lots of other jigs. So this is one that we made a while back. I never made a video on it. So that's why I'm doing it today. There's one more coming up that I'm going to do or a couple more where you can make these jigs. They're DIY jigs and they work, um, you know, as long as you do the work correctly. Now, like I said, I used a compass. I don't know what the guy used here in the picture. I can see all the grinding marks and stuff like that. We didn't clean it up that good. We cleaned up the areas where we were going to weld and called it done because it's a matter of weld prepping. And then we went ahead and we welded those tabs in there. And you use that circle to help you align the vertical tabs. I mean, it's pretty easy once you have that circle drawn. You just have to decide how big of a circle or how big of an arc do you want. Use the compass, scribe it on there. I mean, you can go over it with a marker or whatever you want to do. Cut these tabs and then go ahead and just weld them on there real good because you're going to put some force on it even when you heat up the steel and go to bend it. But as, when you heat the steel, and on the opposite end, we just put like a small pipe 
over that half inch round bar stock and as we heated it we just kept walking and bending it and it came out in a nice smooth arc all the way around and then like i said we did a complete circle you don't have to do a complete circle but you can also do a quarter round or a half round with this one right here in the picture okay it was meant to kind of be your quick tip of the day video i hope you enjoyed it i hope you get something out of it if you don't have an immediate need at least you'll know where to come back and look you know when you do have that kind of a need in your shop i'm the home handyman i hope you click subscribe i hope you follow me coming up this weekend i'll put out some more how to's till then i'll see you you folks have a wonderful day bye bye